conference play, eight and eight, 15 and 12 overall. And for the Blue Hose, four and 12 in conference play, 12 and 19 overall. And away we go again, final game of the day. Here in Charlotte, North Carolina, again, March Madness underway. And how here in the Queen City. And a big move underneath by Winston Hill. The Blue Hose get on the board early. And that was a great find in the paint. And that's what Presbyterian wants to do to spread this Campbell defense out is by establish, establishing themselves in the paint so that the perimeter is going to be open. Starting lineups brought to you by Sunbell Rentals, Ricky Clemens, Whitfield, McCullough, Carolero, and Cedric Henderson, the starting five for Campbell. And an early foul. Fouls were a big issue in our third game. In case you missed it, Hampton had four players foul out. They still hung in there, but lost in overtime. Yes, and, and a lot of that was because, you know, the right people got fouled for Hampton on, on high points behalf where they were not able to make up that difference. When you got yeah. Dickens out like that, who is a rebounding person, a, a shot blocker, your paint is unprotected. Played only six minutes in that game. Had two fouls in the first 90 seconds. Came back into the second half, same story. Sat until the end, picked up number five, and that was it. So a huge story. And the starting five for Presbyterian. The Blue Hose. Looks like this. Rayshon Harrison. Marquise Barnett. Reddish Roan, Hill, and Terrell Ard. The starting five. Presbyterian, it's been a tough stretch as of late. That one misses short, tipped, and great effort. Wow, and one. Trayvon Reddish Roan. And I love how Trayvon Reddish Roan was doing everything he could to put that ball in the basket by staying physical, staying after it. He's a combo guard. He's strong. He's physical. Uh, he loves to drive. He loves to post up for a guard. And so you have to. Make sure that you match his physicality every time you go against him. Chance at a three-point play early. Just skips off the front of the iron. I was talking about the Blue Hose. They lost six of their last seven in the regular season. But how about this? Four were by five points or less, and one was in triple overtime. Should we talk about that parity? Out of bounds, it will go back to Presbyterian. Presbyterian did a real good job of making the right reads against Campbell's pass and cut offense where they are really trying hard to, you know, make, if you overplay them, they will cut, but then they have options on a shake man that flashes up for open threes. And so they're going to try to use as much of that to their advantage as they can. Red Throne looking for help. Shot clock winding down to 10 seconds left. Long three-pointer by Hill off the back of the iron. Hill, a really good player. Averaging about 12 points per game, just under seven boards. And Henderson on the other end. Cedric Henderson just out of the top 10 in the league in scoring, averaging 14 points per game. We're going to call his name a lot tonight. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's one of the best vertical athletes in the Big South. Uh, he's more of a wing player, but can play in that post if needed to create matchup nightmares. Um, drive first kind of guy, but definitely capable of shooting that ball. Hard. No good. Nice move, but a little bit too strong off the back of the iron. One tipped out of bounds. For Campbell, again, the sixth seed here in Charlotte. As we take a look at this three-pointer. And we'll talk about him a lot tonight. But for Campbell, they lost two straight. For the Campbells, they lost two straights and three of their last four to end the regular season. Trying to get back on track here in Charlotte. Carolero took a long look at it. Instead goes back door. Nice pass. Good defense at the last second. I think it was Reddish Road maybe got a hand in there. Yeah, it, it definitely was a great back cut for Cedric Henderson there, who does a really good job of just finding that open space. But... And gets blocked at the last minute off a of recovery defense there. Henderson trying to push his way in again. Steps back. No good. 
Tie game at four here early on. Here's Ard again. Drives down the right side of the lane. And again, a little bit too strong off the back of the iron. You can tell that the play is to try to get Ard involved, uh, especially if he's going against Cedric Henderson, to get him in foul trouble early. Get him out of that game because he's such a pivotal piece. Reddish Roan wave off the basket, a foul instead. Austin McCullough draws the charge. See it here. Just a little bit of contact there. Great acting as well. Making sure that you uh, and you see there, Reddish Rome already tipping that ball away because he is one of those guys that are part of those steals that Presbyterian can easily accumulate. Woodfield trying to throw it back to Carolero. Spots up and rims out the three. Reddish Roan with the rebound. Tries to dump it down low, tipped away by Carolero. Henderson gives it up, Carolero skips it. You know, they're a very good transition defense team. They need to try to continue to wear them down and get them there before the defense gets set. Get into the paint as well. and. Um, also win the board, so it should be a good game. Austin McCullough at the free throw line. Big South All Academic team for the second straight year. Accident. Burnett hands it off. Zeb Graham into the game for the Blue Hose. Right back to Barnett. Skips it right side. Harrison turns down the three-pointer. Into the corner, that one missed. Offensive rebound, though, for Presbyterian by Kobe Stewart. Both teams have combined for 0 for their last nine now. As that one's tipped out of bounds. And they're going to give it to Presbyterian. Presbyterian really good on the offensive boards, I was noticing. 36th in the nation in offensive rebounding. Yeah, they usually crash four every time to try to create a second chance point, but they're also really good at getting back on defense and transitions. Barnett skips that one in. Barnett, he plays extremely hard, extremely hard. Uh, and one of those players that I, I enjoy watching play uh, not only because he plays hard, but he backs it up a little bit, too. He's, he can talk his way into a game. And so uh, I've really enjoyed watching him grow as a basketball player and get after it. And he's uh, going to be a special player as he continues to grow in this league. He was just using the angles that time. That's all he was doing. Yeah. It's all yeah. about the angles. I think he called bank. Inside Thompson on the court for Campbell. Wow, a battle there underneath. And over the right shoulder. Milos Stacic gives Campbell the lead. That was a big boy move from Milos Stacic there. One of the top 15 Euro commits coming out of high school. 6'10", about 240. Great size for Campbell underneath. Yeah, he is their most physical post player. And when he catches it in the post, he really attacks and tries to finish over that left shoulder. Stacic against McCormack. Heck of a battle. Three seconds on the shot clock. And that's going to be a shot clock violation. Good defense by the Camels. And also checking in now for Presbyterian, a player I have just loved watching on tape. Looking forward to watching him tonight, Brandon Younger. And his defense, I mean, just with his length, look at that. I mean, just on your screen. I mean, I'm not sure how yeah. you get the basketball around him. A wingspan yeah. of what? About 
Probably darn near seven feet. Yeah, about six nine or so. He's got some. He's got great length, and that works with what Presbyterian is trying to do on the defensive end by getting deflections and making it really difficult for you to get into your sets and get the ball from one side of the floor to the other. Three pointer on the way, no good. And Younger with the rebound. You know who would love Younger? I would. Uh, yeah, who? Jim Beheim. Oh yeah. I mean, Think about I that that zone. Yes. Oh. I mean, that's the exact guy he goes after, right? Oh, yeah. He wants that type of player that can take up a ton of space and, and makes it look like there aren't any holes in that defense for you to try to flash and spread. So, oh, yeah, he would he fits perfectly in that, but also fits in what the model is that Presbyterian is trying to do by, you know, getting deflections. Those deflections make it hard for you to get any type of rhythm offensively. One-point lead for Campbell. Early on, Cormac gives it up. Harrison, electric player, second league in scoring. Gets it back with six seconds on the shot clock. Tried to bank it in, wouldn't go, and the rebound by Stachic. Thompson underneath to Stachic. Great help side defense, big block by Stewart. That's a big block because that is an easy lay off of great offense for Campbell. But Stewart did a good job, even though he's a little late on that rotation. Recovered, uses athleticism to his ability. Kobe Stewart, 6'6", out of Augusta, Georgia. Going after it. into Henderson, trying to go baseline, throw it back to Whitfield, knocked out of bounds. 19 seconds left on the shot clock, so plenty of time here for Campbell. So if you're Campbell, you got to understand that what Presbyterian is trying to do, they are trapping in those corners. Carolero, the hook shot, no good. Well, neither team exactly hot. Campbell two for nine. Presbyterian three for ten here to start. It's going to be one of those games because both of those teams pride themselves on defense. And so if you do, it's going to be real hard to score. They swing it into the corner. McGregor nowhere to go. Five seconds on the shot clock. Younger will take it. Campbell now 2 for 10. Actually, no, still make it 2 for 9. Presbyterian 3 for 10. Midfield, a little floater in the lane, no good. A rebound grabbed by Graham. This is beautiful defense. Do you see how difficult it is for both teams to put the ball in the basket? <laughs> They're both just super just stubborn when it comes to trying to get those stops and not letting anything fly on the defensive end. How about the big man Stachic getting back in transition to get that last time? Oh, yeah, Stachic, he plays hard. Carolero baseline. Keep looking at my tires, they're a little bald. Yeah, that can happen up in the mountains, right? Come again? It's only early March. <laughs> it can happen. Yeah. It's finished February. All right, again, neither team has scored in the last three minutes. Both teams won for their last nine. And Younger floats that one a little bit too short. Rebound down to Campbell. So talk to me about this and the defense. I mean, you were talking about this during the break off the air. I mean, both teams defensively so right now disciplined. Yeah, have you seen an easy basket from either team yet? Nobody is willing to give anything. And so it's like you, you back cut, you run into traffic. You get a post up, you run into traffic. and. So they're making it really difficult to score based on their principles both of them have on defense. And so it's going to be a, a ugly uh, grudge match type of game. Well, that was a really well-executed play, too, because they tried a double back cut. And there's a reverse layup by Carroll Arrow. But they had McCullough go back door, and then Whitfield tried to sneak in right behind him, and they guarded both. Yeah, and that's the thing. They both have scouted each other very well. They played each other already. And, know what, he, what, what both teams like to do. And, and like I said before, it's going to come down to the schemes, but also who's conditioned to last an entire game of playing that style of defense. The Gregum for three. No. Rebound down to Campbell. Campbell's with a three-point lead midway through the first half. Again, our final game of the day. 
here in the Queen City. Again, the back cut will not go, but a foul. And that kind of conflicts with how Presbyterian plays defense. They deny. And so when you deny, it leaves it open for a, a team that actually practices the back cut consistently to get opportunities to score. And Campbell loves to do back cuts. They do a lot of pass and cut actions. Ricky Clemens have not had a chance to talk about him too much yet. We will as the night goes on, averaging 10 points per game. Started all 27 games this year. He actually had 15 points against Presbyterian earlier this year. And he's a great story. He's a senior out of North Carolina, former walk-on that just earned a spot on this team. Yeah, he's, a, he's the definition of a glue guy. He plays really hard on both offense and defense. You just saw it on that cut. You got to cut hard to get open against a team like Presby Presbyterian, but also knows his role, which is why he's one of those guys that was able to earn a scholarship. See if Presbyterian can get things going. More turnovers right now than made field goals. Trying to avoid the turnover here. They get it to Harrison. Now back down low to Hill. And that one's too short. Presbyterian three for 15 here to start. You know, this has been a theme, and, and I would say if you're a Presbyterian fan out there, don't worry. <laughs> We've seen teams already today get off to slow starts, and they just come motoring back. Yeah, and you're seeing Campbell cut Presbyterian up with the back cuts continuously. And a lot of that is because Campbell has one of the most fluid offenses in the Big South, where the ball is continuously moving and makes the defense have to work. And there's a bucket for Presbyterian. Winston Hill, averaging 12 points per game, snaps an 8-0 run early here by Campbell. I think Winston Hill has five of their points already. A very versatile, skilled forward. And he loves to pop out of those ball screen actions, which makes it a lot tougher for Biggs to really hone in on him. And you are correct, he does have five points early on. And now Reddish Rowan will slow things down here for the Blue Hose. Harrison caught in the air, gets it off to Barnett, to short. Offensive rebound, though, for Hill. Presbyterian really wanted to try and get it down low into the hands of James LeVorn, who's into the lineup. They were trying to create that isolation because you like to say that you got a mouse in the house situation. <laughs> Actually, I said LeVorn. They're trying to get it into Ard. Yes. And why not? Ard 6'7", a little over 200 pounds. 0 for 2 so far in this one, but he's going to be a factor before this one's over. Absolutely. A UAB transfer. He's very versatile, high motor, and loves to slash, and he's going to be needed. Barnett, fadeaway jumper. I mean, had to settle for that, and Campbell just all over anyone who had the basketball. Yeah, you really have to earn your points against Campbell. Carolero, nowhere to go. Whitfield trapped. Under eight minutes to go here in the first half. Shot clock down to seven. Long three, that one's too short. So Campbell now four for 14 here to start the game. And another three-pointer. This time Harrison knocks it in. And just like that, Presbyterian back to within one. Honestly, that was one of the first few Speckles of daylight I've seen Rayshawn Harris get. He's been very patient in the offense, just looking for his shots. But Campbell has done a really good job of marking him defensively. But he is a three-level scorer that can really get busy, especially out in that open floor. Back-to-back -back threes for the Blue Hose. Now a chance to take the lead. 6-0 run for Presbyterian. That one spins out. Carolero spins, baseline, nice move. You know, it was a great experience and um, would take it back for the world, you know? Called to the jet. Yeah. I Googled you. 
Yeah, yeah. Impressive. <laughs> I appreciate it. Fun watching the Jet. Bob underneath and the finish. Nice pass. And Rennish Roan able to make the catch and lays it in back to a two point game. He's doing a really good job of just really doing work off ball to get open because you have to do that against this Campbell defense. If you stand still, it makes it get easy to guard by them. Remind me later, my favorite dunk of yours, though, was back in college when you got some ladders involved, the candle, some oh, players. Yeah. I, I got to hear about that later. Yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> you probably could, if there was a blowout, that we could have already um, hit this, but all these games have been super close. Jumper as the shot clock expires. That's going to be off Presbyterian, I believe. It is, so it's going to stay with the Camels. It's a big possession for Campbell. It just shows you they don't ever, they don't ever give up on the play. They'll keep fighting. Oh, wow. Smart from Carolero. Cullen, long three, hits it. I knew that was coming. He is a catch and shoot type of player. If you go under the screen at any point, he's going to make you pay. If you have to overhelp because one of his teammates are back cutting and he comes up for the shake, he's going to make you pay. Great shooter. Presbyterian trying to answer. Harrison can't get it to go. Five point lead for the Camels. Anderson trying to dump it underneath for Carolero, and now off the Camels, so back to Presbyterian. You see it right here. Austin McCullough doing what he does best. He shoots that thing. He spreads the floor where he can't just pack it in against Campbell and try to protect the basket from those back cuts. So you're in a disadvantage one way or the other if he's on. Shout out early on here to our statistician, John Tobias. And poor John really hasn't had much to talk about in this one. <laughs> it's been slow offensively. Yeah. All they can say is there's a whole lot of defensive stops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not fun for statisticians, is it? Defensive battle? <laughs> well, you know, maybe some turnovers could happen. Three-point game. Henderson out to McCullough. And that one just a little bit too strong. Rebound down to Reddish Roan. Presbyterian trying to push it back to the other end. In the lane, dumps it down low. Well defended though, Campbell all over the place with the block. Clements to Henderson in the finish. That's a great finish with a ton of contact. That's how you know Henderson is an experienced player. He has been in those situations before, not looking for a bailout from the referees to call a foul. He just wanted to finish that ball. Five-point lead again for the Camels. Nine seconds on the shot clock for Reddish Roan. Gives it up to Stewart. And the lefty's three-pointer, no good. Henderson with the rebound. Clemens, McCullough was open, turns down the three. I think McCullough was expecting a, a harder closeout just because he showed his ability early to knock down a three. Ricky Clemens has been quiet. Drives baseline, strong move. And seven for 25, 28%. Yeah, and you're just saying Campbell doing what they do a little bit better offensively than Presbyterian right now. They back cut. Presbyterian denies the lanes. And so Campbell has back cut Presbyterian as much as they could to get a little bit of a lead. But Presbyterian is still adjusting and adapting each play. Presbyterian has struggled a little bit more to get themselves any type of offensive circulation. Um, against Campbell's you know, pack line defense or gap defense where they make sure that straight line drives are really difficult to take. I'll never forget early in my 
career, I was broadcasting a game where there was a team that really was running like a like a Princeton style offense, right? With oh, yeah. a bunch of just a ton of backdoor cuts. Yeah. And I remember uh, they, they let me come back into uh, the scout, which was terrific, but because the coach said. You know, we always tell you to keep your hands up. Yeah. For one game and one game only, I want hands down. I want all hands by your side and down to get ready for because they love to go back door with a bounce pass. Got it. And they they turned over like 17 times and won the game just Course. because they had their hands down in the lane, ready for that back door cut and ready for the bounce pass. Understood. Understood. So it just initiated, activated those active hands yeah. to be ready for that bounce pass, so you could at least get a tip of deflection, so that if you do make that pass, at least the defender can recover. You know who that coach was? Was Mark Byington, assistant nice. under Bobby Cremins. Nice. Uh, coach of James Madison. Whitfield with the three-pointer. And Campbell now extending their lead 26 to 17. Largest lead of the night. Yeah. He has been a really good offensive spark for Campbell, especially from the perimeter. Uh, you know, his off offensive game is usually the jump shot, uh, but also can knock down the one dribble pull up. And, you know, based on their offense, he can cut. He can get downhill off of those back, back door cuts. Harrison banks it in. Nice shot. Second in the league and scoring 17 points per game. Second team all conference here this season. And he has taken 130 more shots than anyone else on the roster. And because he is capable of making those shots. Stacic back on the court. He's going to stay with Campbell. 124 left to go in the first half. Be interesting to see how this one ends and see if it sticks with the theme today. We've had two overtime games and a tip in at the buzzer. Big drive and the left handed finish by Messiah Thompson, the junior out of Atlanta, into the game. Messiah Thompson puts a lot of pressure on defenses because it is so difficult to stay in front of him due to his quickness and explosiveness. And so a lot of people were waiting on a play call from Campbell, but Messiah Thompson saw the lane and took full advantage. Nice little give and go, extra pass. He'll miss the layup, and now Campbell looking to capitalize the other way. Normally against most teams, that is an easy layup, but because Campbell never gives up on the defensive play until they get the ball, you know, it made it difficult for Presbyterian to see that ball in the basket. Stacic open for three, and Campbell's on a roll. 30 seconds left. A 31 to 19 lead for the Camels again right now. We'll see if Presbyterian can answer. 30 seconds left, at least try and get some momentum back here before halftime. About four seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. You see it, I mean, it's, it's be really difficult and for Presbyterian to just get a drive right now. Because Campbell is everywhere. And Reddish Roan trying to throw that long pass along the baseline, ends up throwing it out of bounds. And now Campbell can try and get the last bucket. I wonder how long it's going to take before fatigue sets in. But both of these teams are playing extremely hard. Whitfield lost it right in the hands of Carolero. Tip will not go. Rebound down. Should be entertaining. Yeah, you just got a feeling Presbyterian's going to have something to say here at some point here in the second half. Presbyterian actually jumped out to an early lead. Oh, I, I will say this. Rayshawn Harrison was definitely facilitating in that first half, just trying to get his teammates involved so that he can get himself a little bit more openings because right now the attention, or that first half, the attention was on him. Barnett spins baseline. Again against Whitfield. And a little up and under move. You saw how difficult that was for Barnett to put the ball in the basket. And Whitfield was there. He was vertical. No bailouts there. Carolero backing his way in. Has it stripped by Ard, but a foul. And you see why 
he's considered the quarterback of their offense. He always has the ball in his hands, and people cut off of him where he can find ways to either create for himself or his teammates. Free throws coming up for Carolero. Out of Malaga, Spain. 25 starts this year. And he just rolls out. Fourth in assists in the conference, eighth in steals. Double figures, 13 games this year. And he knocks that one in. Campbell, for those who don't know, have reached the championship game twice in the last five years. Yeah, they have had some very strong teams that have been capable of winning it. Usually, um, they just have come up slightly short in those situations, but they got there due to their defensive intensity. Pella lobs it back to Carolero. Back door, and the layup is good. Count the basket and a foul. Physical move by Austin McCullough. Great move from Austin McCullough to ward off that defender, but great pass also from Carolero, finding his man on that back cut and really doing a great job of just setting him up for success. Largest lead of the game now for Campbell. As that one is too short. Harrison against Clemens. Great defense from Clemens there. Just picked it away. Three on two back the other way. Whitfield, jumper. No good. Harrison quickly to the other end. Open three in the corner, and it is good. That was a great offensive possession for Presbyterian there, getting out in the open floor. Campbell did a pretty good job of loading there on one side, but Presbyterian did an even better job of moving the ball from one side, really sh shifting the defense, and then getting the ball right back to that side they started on with Rayshon Harris for that jumper. You see it. Ball is moving, it's fluid, he gets that wide open shot, knocks it down. He's capable of that, even with hands in his face. And that last foul was on Harrison, his second. It's a great look there inside the Bojangles Coliseum here in Charlotte. Day one of the men's side. Women's side will continue with quarterfinal action tomorrow. And a steal. Hill two on two with R. Nice pass across the lane. Can't quite finish it. Reddish Rome with the offensive rebound. Hard on the kick out. Three pointer from the corner is good again by Harrison. Back to back threes. And that's what Harrison can do. He can get himself going really quickly. And you see now that in the first half, he made sure that there wasn't as much attention on him by facilitating. He's taken over a little bit more in the second half. And a little 6 0 run. Makes it 34 to 27. Henderson lost it, gets his feet taken out from underneath him. Foul's going to be called against Presbyterian. That's Marquise Barnett down on the floor. The good news looks like everyone's all right. That's always scary when a guy gets his yeah. feet taken out. Yeah, and that's just started with Presbyterian, all of them. They have active hands, right? He saw that little touch, that little deflection. They're both hunting after the ball. It's just Barnett, wonder if his head hit the ground there. Yeah, Henderson lands right on top of his. Yeah. On the back of his head. So he'll come out for a minute. Quick handoff to Whitfield, open for just a second, and hits the three. That's the thing, that was still a good, solid defensive possession. Whitfield just took advantage of his small opening of daylight there and made him pay. Hello, hello, hello. 
Harris and back-to-back -back threes for Presbyterian. And this is going to be a foul against Campbell. It's going to go against Carolero. That happens from time to time. It's it's almost like you're standing your ground and making sure that you know Hill doesn't get that that offensive positioning that he needs just so he can get an easy drop off and drop step for a finish. Harrison to the baseline, trapped in the corner. Carolero with the steal. Three on two. Skips in the corner. Whitfield, another three-pointer. Tough shot from Whitfield there. Really just taking advantage of the open floor opportunity. And I thought Presbyterian did a good job of, of loading him. But at that point, if you give that guy that kind of daylight, he's going to make you pay. But also, because he's seen it go in once, it's going to be scary. Harrison trying to answer. That one misses. Definitely is one of those super seniors that has taken full advantage of that COVID year and got that extra year and took and made sure he's taken this thing down the wire as far as he can go because you don't know the next time you'll bounce a ball again when you're in this stage of your life. On the other side for Presbyterian, Harrison now with 13 points to make it a 10-point game. Harrison is definitely getting active offensively which is what his team has needed. That one's too short. Reddish thrown back on the other end. Dumps it down low. He'll back his way in against Stocic. Quick turn and score. Nice move. Great finish there from Hill. Just being patient, understanding no help was coming, finishing over that left shoulder. Great finish. He got up before Stachic could gather. Stachic looking for another three, and that one misses. But McCullough's right there with the offensive rebound and putback. He checked. They switched positions for a second. <laughs> now Stachic hit one earlier. He has not hit a whole lot this season. He's about 17% from three. Confidence after knocking down that one back. Well, he, he shot it like he shoots it all the time. Yeah. It looked good. You're right. Yeah. He'll open top of the key. Almost backed that one in. And offensive putback on the other end. Our junior with the putback. That's one of those situations where Presbyterian was in great position to get themselves another offensive rebound. McCullough. nowhere to go. Whistle away from the basketball. That's going to go against Campbell. And it's going to go against Stachic. First foul on Stachic. Just the sixth foul the entire game on Campbell. Yeah, I mean, as much defense as they have been playing, they haven't done a ton of foul. Yeah. That one off the leg of Reddish Road, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be Campbell basketball. 41-33 here in the second half. Well, that's got to make it so difficult when you're playing a team like this. I mean, for Presbyterian, I mean, it just puts so much pressure on every single possession. Chance to get a couple right here, though. Hill all the way to the other end. Misses on the dunk with the foul by Stachic. Yeah, I was, that's a great situation for Presbyterian to continue to try to dwindle this lead that Campbell has. And it started out with defense for Campbell. And uh, Stachic, you know, fouled him there. But yeah, that's, that is all foul. Can't say all ball there. He didn't touch it. There's Winston Hill out of Columbia, South Carolina. Transfer from Francis Marion. Man, can't get that one to spin in. Started all but one game this year. Started all but three games over the last two years. 
Play this high school ball at Irmo High School. A good basketball program in South Carolina. Well, they've had some really good players come out of there. Yeah. Two-time state champion at Irmo. 41-34 now, Presbyterian. Trying to chip away at this, but again, so difficult to do. Here in a game like this, where Campbell is just so good defensively, forces you really to be perfect on the offensive end. Yeah, if you make a shot against Campbell, you earned it. Clemens back to Stacic and a foul on Hill. Good pass. Great look to Stacic underneath. Oh, yeah. Definitely had the defense on one side of the floor and really made him unbalanced where Stacic was able to just get himself an easy finish there. Got fouled. I was just looking at the stats for Campbell. Not one player in double figures yet, but seven different players have chipped in. McCullough is the team's leading scorer right now, nine points and five rebounds. Stacic now is six. Yeah, it just tells you how balanced they are offensively. It could be anybody's night, but because of how their offense works, it's all about the defensive breakdowns. If somebody on defense breaks down, that's your opportunity to score. Nine-point lead. Look at the Presbyterian stats. I mean, they're really not, not bad. Yeah. Not terrible. I've hit five threes. Yeah. It just tells you how deadly Campbell is, especially on that defense. Well, Presbyterian six for 11 here in the second half, 55%. Over his left shoulder. Again, Winston Hill. Nice move. And Winston Hill is, is really doing a good job of just, and those are tough shots. I mean, Stachik is there. He's extending his arm. And so in order to beat Campbell, you have to hit those shots, tough shots, consistently. Henderson with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Started by Reddish Roan, dribbles around him. Wow, great dig. Forcing the turnover was hard. Gets it back, rewarded. Really. You know, credit to the Blue Hose just for hanging in there because this has got to be sometimes a demoralizing game to play in because, you know, everyone just wants to score and get your numbers, but it's just tough in some games. Can't do that against Campbell. It's That's really patient, difficult. Right? You've got to make tough shots consistently, and, and if you don't, they can blow you out and in a methodical way where you're thinking, man, like, it'll happen eventually, and then all of a sudden you look at the scoreboard and you're down 20. That's why it's impressive that Presbyterian is, is still giving themselves a chance and a lot of that is because they're creating offense through their defense. I mean, they only have 37 points for this entire game, and we're midway through the second half. Camp, but Camp, they're still in. Yeah, Camp is only six points ahead of that, so. <laughs> they're a six-point game, yeah. Carolero has it poked away by Hill, and it's going to go back to Presbyterian. So again, doing what they can to try and stay alive. And that's great. And so as much as it's a six-point game, because both teams have struggled to score on each other, it feels like a 15-point game. <laughs> Reddish Roan with it, looking over the defense. They swing it over to Harrison. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Again, every possession so critical here against the Camels. Harrison nowhere to go, finds Ard, little chip shot with the left hand, will go offensive rebound, and a foul against Campbell. Foul beyond Stacic. And that's going to be his third. Stacic just plays extremely hard the entire time. And is, he's kind of like a bull in a china shop, but I'd rather have that than, you know, a feather in a china shop, you know? So. <laughs> You gotta break some stuff when you play basketball. Stacic now with three fouls is gonna have a seat on the bench. This may work out in Campbell's favor. They've gone a little bit smaller with Stacic out. Hill with another spin move, and he's having a game now. 12 points. He's five to ten from the field. Also has a three-pointer and six rebounds. There has been no answer for Hill in the paint.
Perilero fakes the handoff. Tries to pass it to Whitfield and throws it out of bounds. So a four-point game, and now the Blue Hose will get another chance. Presbyterian here in the second half started three for seven, but now have hit five of their last seven. They really battled, battled to get back in, like we talked about before, because Campbell plays such great defense. It could be an eternity to get back into this game, yeah. even down four. But right now, Hill has been a great equalizer of their defense. Presbyterian being patient. Harrison, jumper, too strong. Hill with the offensive rebound. Able to get it away to Ard, or to uh, British Roan, rather, in the corner. He's backing his way in, and the jumper's good. Presbyterian now back to within two. And Reddish Roan, as we talked about it before, one of those players that is a, a driving guard, but can turn that drive, if you stop him, into a post-up. And now the Presbyterian fans in attendance on their feet. Whitfield back door to Carolero. Nice extra pass to Henderson has it slapped away and a foul. Great patience for Campbell offensively just to wait and see where their options were in their offense to break down Presbyterian's defense. Seven zero run right now by Presbyterian. Campbell trying to see if they can snap that. Henderson, no good. Cedric Henderson Jr., senior out of Memphis, Tennessee. You see Barnett now come back in the game. Henderson, honorable mention All Conference, and now two-time All Conference in his career. With Campbell. Campbell knock that one in. Three point game, just under nine and a half minutes left to play. That has been a good and physical. Another whistle against Campbell. And you're seeing right now Carol Arrow trying to front Hill so that. Presbyterian has to throw the ball over a defender in order to get it there. And then Campbell will have a weak side presence to be able to get that steal. But Hill is such a load down there that it's really difficult to get around him on the defensive end. Winston Hill to the free throw line. Again, averaging 12 points per game. Third in the conference and rebounding coming into this tournament. And gets that one to roll in. And Hill has just been tough to guard in this game. And not only when he has the ball, it's just them trying to delay him from getting the ball. He still works extremely hard to get that position that he needs. 6'7", 230, great size like you were just saying. That one's in and out, tipped. The Campbell comes down with it. And a two-point game, just over nine minutes to play. Campbell all of a sudden has gone cold. No field goals in over five minutes. Well, a lot of that has been tough for them because we talked about it before. Presbyterian's made some adjustments defensively. And Henderson airmails that one. All the way to the stands. Yeah, he also just took down a camera guy. <laughs> took him down good. Dangerous down there. It is. Everybody all right? Comes, comes along with the job. Hey, that's our guy who put us on camera at halftime, too. Yeah, he's yeah. A, he's an important one. Yeah. Comes, <laughs> comes along with the job. He was ready for it. Tells this person before he leaves work. Don't know if I'll come back. Three pointers good by Barnett. And look at this. Presbyterian has taken a one point lead. We have a game, sir. Hill shaking his head over to us. He says, That's right. Yes, sir. We've taken the lead. Yeah. And we are here. 
I love it. First lead for Presbyterian since it was seven to six. Throwback, Carolero with the fake, drives, leaves it short and a blocking foul underneath. As you can see on his back is Barnett. And that's a good idea from Barnett too. Try to take that charge. He was there fairly early, but I don't think he knew exactly where he was regarding that regarding that zone there, but Carolero definitely needed to make something happen for his team. 11 to 1 run right now for Presbyterian over the last four minutes and 22 seconds. And Carolero too short. Well, is it worth noting at this point? You mentioned it back in the first half when we were talking about the excellent defense, but how exhausting that can be as well. Absolutely. It can, it can run its course on you. Because you play so hard, it's hard to play two halves with that kind of energy and that kind of effort. And what ended up happening is one of those teams will find those holes once you start to make a few mistakes and a few slips. Or you're late on rotations. You Got to make a pay. I thought about it because that first free throw by Carolero was short. And that's a lot of times what you see, obviously, when you see fatigue, but able to make the adjustment, adjustment that time and knock it in. Yeah, he's been working really hard trying to guard Hill there. High game at 45, but Presbyterian takes the lead again on another three-pointer. That's a big shot. Harrison there. Harrison now with 18 points, four three-pointers. Whitfield underneath to Carolero against Hill, backing him down towards the post. And a 56% free throw shooter on the season. Campbell, all of a sudden, after really taking control of this game, remember they made that big 11 to two run. Oh yeah. To end the first half, they led it what 31 to 19. Yeah, and at the break, a lot of that was them getting those stops, getting out in the open floor before Presbyterian could get set, knocking down some open threes, but also just staying true to their offense and and really getting themselves opportunities on their back cuts. Harrison and Hill have combined for 21 points for Presbyterian here in just the second half. Yeah, Campbell scored 15 points as a team, so it shows how dominant Winston Hill and Rayshon Harrison have been. Here's Harrison with the basketball. You see it, Carolero really trying to fight in front him. Seven seconds on the shot clock, here's Ard. Harrison gets his man in the air, wide open, three-pointer is no good. Just bounces out, hard offensive rebound, block underneath by Carolero. Hill gets it back, cannot score, but a foul. And Presbyterian is just working right now underneath. You see it, I mean, how big of an impact player Stachik is with the rebounding. He limits most teams because of Campbell did a good job of playing defense. Presbyterian missed, but Presbyterian crashes extremely hard and will try to create more offensive rebounding and opportunities for them. And usually what happens is when you get an offensive rebound, especially in the paint, everybody starts to foul because it's like that hero ball. Like, I got to get that back. And so just seeing what's happening now with uh, Campbell with the frustration of playing really good defense, but then giving Presbyterian another opportunity to try to score. Every point so critical, Hill misses off the back of the iron. And a two-point lead for the Blue Hose. Final game of the day. Again, two have gone into overtime. One was a winner at the buzzer by Charleston Southern. Whitfield's got Harrison all over him, dribbles around him, throws it high off the glass and in. What a play by Whitfield. What a finish from Whitfield. I mean, that's a senior move right there. Not willing to let his team lay down just yet. We got to flag that one, right, for a Hercules strong move of the game. That's got to that's be a contender. That could be. That could be. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. It's pretty good. 
10 seconds left in the shot clock, quickly winding down. Three won't go, tipped. Ball still loose, ends up in the hands of Reddish Roan. Another opportunity for Presbyterian. Those will start to add up as the game progresses. Tie game at 48, just under six minutes left to play. Harrison, two big steps, missed it. Carolero rips the rebound away. And the whistle will stop playing the other end. Strong move. All right, time to name our Hercules strong move of the game. And let's, yeah, let's just go with this one. What a play oh, yeah. by Whitfield. Yeah, great hesitation. Freeze his defender. Make him think he may bring it back out. Look at that freeze right there. Boom. And he's able to finish with some English high on the glass. Whitfield now in double figures with 10 points. That's the strong move of the game brought to you by Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Back door knocked away. Presbyterian with numbers. Quick pass ahead to Harrison. Blocked from behind by Carol Arrow. And hopefully Harrison's okay. A lot of contact. Carol Arrow came screaming in from behind to block it. He came from nowhere. Let's take a look at this one again. And they actually announced the foul being on Whitfield. Yeah, a lot of pressure on that, I think it's that left ankle for Harrison. Yeah, and really ginger on that left foot. And you hate to see something like that with how Harrison has definitely taken over this game offensively well you never know hopefully it's just a cramp yeah well, it was a weird landing on that foot what a game for Harrison 18 points he's 7 of 17 from the field four three-pointers four see, rebounds and a couple of assists he's trying to fight it Trying to walk it off. Yeah. Now the trainer's like, all right, let's just yeah, take a look at this come thing. Come on, let's take a look. He doesn't want to take that shoe off. I can tell. I've been there. So mark that down. 522 left in the game. When Harrison goes out. And again, critical free throws as Hill hits the first one, his 14th point. The thing about Harrison is he creates a ton of balance in Presbyterian's offense. You've got Hill who's been going crazy in the paint, mid-range area, creating isolation actions where you got to help off of him, right? But if you help off of him, now you've got somebody who can spread the floor and keep you honest with the three-point shot in Harrison. And as you just saw a moment ago, they're going to run him back to the locker room real quick. Two-point lead for Presbyterian. Campbell with the basketball. Clemens has been quiet. Moves it up as they swing it back around to Whitfield. Stachich with the handoff. Whitfield, little jumper, and that's good. He has such a quick shot, so tough to guard. Well, he's a smaller guard. You have to have that in your bag, especially to play in a league now where, you know, you've got six, five, six, six point guards that are guarding you on, on a timely basis. And a turnover. Henderson back the other way. Floats too short. Tip will not go. Rebound down to the Blue Hose. Reddish Roan skips it left side. McGregor into the game to replace Harrison. Hard zips it out to Hill. Three pointer. Way off target. Tough possession for Presbyterian. Not getting exactly what they would like, but with getting Hill in that paint area and really trying to create. Stachich with seven seconds left. Whitfield again, quick trigger in and out. And Ard with the rebound. Tie game at 50. 
Three minutes and 30 seconds left to play. Don't pass down low. Three rebounds. He's got a couple of threes. Get it into Clemens. Clemens only three points, 0 for 1 from the field for Campbell. It's a defense, man. He hasn't had a ton of opportunities. There he is, Clemens drives baseline. And offensive foul against Ricky Clemens. That's a tough one right there. That's going to be his fourth. Tough one. Well, no points for Presbyterian. Presbyterian since Harrison left the game, and look who's back. Ray Sean Harrison just checked back in. Yeah, he's going to deal with that pain later. <laughs> That's what he said. Barnett gives it to Ard. Tie game at 50. Three minutes left to play. Hill to Make sure they play until the last whistle blows. <laughs> Nobody wants to go home. Three-pointer in the corner. It is good. Another huge three for Presbyterian. This time Marquise Barnett as Presbyterian retakes the lead. I like Barnett a lot. He's going to be a really special kid. We got to talk to him before the game started. And I said, what you going to do today? I said, I'm going to play. I'm going to play hard, man. Give you a show. Henderson stops at the elbow, nowhere to go, gives it up to Whitfield. Henderson gets it back, seven seconds on the shot clock. One on one against Hill, shot clock down to two. High three pointer, shot clock violation. McCullough had to force that shot up way short. He did, he did. And as much as we talked about the Campbell defense, how about Presbyterian now on the defensive end? Absolutely. You see Harrison, he's still grimacing out here. He's got it. And went out at the 521 mark. Again, Hill trapped in the corner, has it poked away, and it's gonna stay with Presbyterian. I think the ball might have actually gone out of bounds. I think they set off a Campbell play. Yeah, Clemens was trying to figure out why is it out on us, and then the referee just pointed at where his foot was. Yep. Look. See it here. Watch where his foot is. Boom. He's got possession of the ball at that point. Yep. You see it. Good point to him. Harrison to inbound. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Looking for the lob, but it was well defended by Campbell. Now off the fingertips of Reddish Run and out of bounds. That was terrific defense by the Camels. Yeah, it was either going to be a turnover or a five-second call. Either one was going to happen. And Harrison just can't do it, John. He's going to have to go back out. Well, I think they're taking him out, too, especially because he could be a defensive liability. Teams could attack him because he is a little hobbled there and then try to get him ready for some offensive um, threats there where he can continue to balance the offense and make Campbell have to really work and mind where he is at all times. Thompson. Henderson trying to tie this game up, and he does. He hasn't played great today, but that man is still a senior, and he does not want to go home yet. Henderson with nine points, tie game, under 90 seconds left to play. Two out of our first three games went into overtime. Reddish Roan against Whitfield and scores! As we talked about, he will drive. You can stop him, but because of his size and build, he's gonna post you up and still find a way to finish because he has really good post moves and a nice little hook shot. Under a minute left to play. Thompson, crossover. Looking for something, can't find anything. Gives it to Whitfield with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. 
Jumper, top of the key, no good. Offensive rebound by Campbell. It was in the hands of Carolero, but then Henderson ended up with it. The Presbyterian commits the foul. That's a big shot for Henderson. He definitely got his feet set and really saw that one through, but then you see that drive. We talk about Reddish Roan and what he brings to the table. If you got a small guard on him, you better double team him once he touches that paint. Terrell Art just picked up his fourth foul, by the way, for Presbyterian. Two point lead for the Blue Hose. 42 seconds left. And Carol Arrow makes it a one point game. Can you believe this today? It's been crazy. It's been a wild day. What a start to March. And we are tied at 55. Reddish run. Attack him going downhill, you know, because he's still an offensive threat. He can still shoot the ball. And so uh, that puts a lot of pressure on Campbell's defense. 30 seconds left. Reddish Roan. And an offensive foul. Whitfield gets in his way. Oh, my. And Quentin Farrell, the head coach for Presbyterian, can't believe it. There was a little chicken wing. I call that the chicken wing extension right yep, there. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, where that, you know, you knew that Reddish Ron was going to try to create again because he's done a really good job of even if you stop him, and just stay in front of him, he can still turn his back to you yep. and use his size and lift and athletic ability to finish over top of smaller guards like Whitfield and Thompson. You know, the official's been consistent with that all day. Absolutely. Campbell now with a chance to win it. They get it across. They're going to be scary if they stay together. All right, Campbell with a chance to win it. 20 seconds left to play. Down to the wire again here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thompson hanging on to it. Ten seconds left. They gotta go. They definitely don't want to give any time for Presbyterian to come back. Three seconds left. Thompson step back. Three-pointer is short. A triple overtime game. Meanwhile, for Campbell, believe it or not, their first overtime game of the season. And here we go. Harrison in there for the overtime, for the moment anyway. Oh, a nice step through, a little jump step right between two defenders as Barnett lays it in. Barnett has definitely come alive in this half, and obviously overtime. And he's been a little bit more on that attack mode and just taking advantage because a lot of defenses will fall asleep on him and think that he's not going to do anything because he plays his role well. But he's also capable of scoring. Carolero draws the foul. Marquise Barnett from Brunswick, Ohio. Just a freshman for Presbyterian. Made the all-freshman team. There's Harrison staying out there on the defensive end. They tried to substitute him offense for defense at the end of regulation just to save his foot, which he looked to injure with about five minutes left in regulation. The foul was on Reddish Roan, by the way, for Presbyterian. That is his fourth. And obviously, just like we saw earlier today, fouls are going to be an issue here in overtime. Yeah, I mean, you got two teams, especially that are really pride themselves on defense and making sure you don't get anything easy, you're going to get fouls. And that one misses, tipped. Hill comes away with it. Presbyterian by two. Blocked by Carolero. It's going to stay with Presbyterian. That's a tough stretch for Carolero, missing both of those free throws. Interesting that Presbyterian not going offense for defense here. And a three-pointer misses badly there for Barnett. 
thing is, if, if Harrison is slowing down the offensive circulation, then they're going to take him out sometimes. 3.51 to play. We're in overtime. By the way, just got word from the conference. This is a tournament record, by the way, for most overtimes in a single day. And this is going to be against Campbell. Carolero charged with the foul, unhappy with it. And it just bumped into him. Third foul on Carolero now. Looks like it looked like he stopped a little bit beforehand, but Reddish Run did a good job. Make sure he dropped. Long pass underneath Hill, able to save it to LeGregum in the corner, way short. Whistle again, and another foul on the Camels. Oh. Well, you see how hard Presbyterian works to try to create second chance points. Second foul on Henderson. Kevin McGeehan, head coach for Campbell, <laughs> sweating this one out. We've seen the coaches working today. I'm telling you, they are working hard. He wiped his forehead like, what in the world is happening here? And Reddish Roan takes in the first one. 3 point lead. Quentin Farrell, now the head coach of his alma mater. Yes, Rome makes another one. Presbyterian with 18 second chance points. That's been big versus just seven for Campbell. Four point lead and overtime for the Blue Hose. And Campbell's really going to have to make something happen here. Henderson with just nine points so far, drives into the lane, scores, and a blocking foul. It's a big basket for Henderson. This team really needed that basket. Chance to make this a one-point game. Great defense, but even better offense from Henderson there. And it is a three-point play, and it is a one-point game. I love the competitive fire from both of these programs. Really just giving everything they got this entire game in the defensive end. It's refreshing to watch games like this. McGregor in for Harrison. Drives, nowhere to go. Henderson shut him down. And now Barnett, top of the key, breaks it in. Tough shot for Barnett there. Definitely come alive in this overtime. A two-pointer to make it a three-point lead again for Presbyterian. Coming up on two and a half minutes left to play. Parallero. Backing in against Hill, spins, fires, no good. Tip, rebound ripped away by Ard. Trying to find someone to give it to. Finds Reddish Road. As now we approach just two minutes left here in overtime. Dump down low to Hill and the finish. Yeah, there's nothing you can do when Hill gets that kind of angle and position. Five it. point lead now for Presbyterian. You see it, I mean, Campbell looks a little deflated as far as their energy goes. Henderson jumper from just beyond the free. And so uh, it always starts out with somebody controlling the game, and then adjustments are made, and you don't know what happens after that. But man, this has been a great day of basketball for the Big South Conference. The 
Presbyterian with a call out of the timeout. Reddish Roan into the corner. mcgregor has got Whitfield all over him. Gets him in the air. Too short. Henderson with the rebound. And Campbell trailing by three with one minute left to play. Carroll Arrow against Hill gives it up to Henderson. Three-pointer, too short. Offensive rebound for Campbell. Carroll Arrow, a whistle and a foul. I thought maybe they're going to get him for traveling, but instead a foul on Presbyterian. Look at this one again. It's going to go against Hill. Yeah, I thought it was going to be steps too, but then it looks like, oh yeah, it looks like you let go of the ball beforehand, but I guess they called the foul before the steps. Well, foul situation for Presbyterian. Four on Barnett, three on Hill, four on Ard, four on Reddish Roan. And for Campbell, four on Clemens. Everyone else is safe for the moment. Carolero makes it a two-point game, 43 seconds left. The winner of this game will advance to take on the three seed, Gardner Webb. Not tomorrow, but Friday. That one's good, one point game. Campbell has to really work to get them. One point lead. McGregor well, to inbound. Pops it into Reddish Roan. Guarded by Henderson. Speeds it across the stripe. Hill against Carolero has it poked away. And Ard fouled hard underneath with 25 seconds left. That was exactly what Presbyterian wanted. They wanted to get that ball in the paint. And it started out with them trying to get it in the hill. Ard gets it. Pump fakes. Goes up strong. Tough fall, dude. Henderson charged with the foul. That'll be his third for Campbell. And Terrell R. Jr., the redshirt freshman from Georgia, at the free throw line with a one-point lead. And can't get it to go. Bounces on the iron twice. R. shoots 38% from the free throw line. Transfer from UAB, trying to give his team a two-point lead. And it's good. 64-62. Henderson gets it into Whitfield. Again, Campbell has two timeouts. Nice and pretty good when I was a senior. Well, that's step one right there, just inbounding it. Yeah. She gives a handsy Presbyterian team. 15 seconds left to play. Campbell down by two. Whitfield with 10 seconds left. Has to force up a shot. It's too short and goes out of bounds to Presbyterian. In there. Can they get him the ball, though, on that bad foot? Spinning, trying to get it in. Ball is loose. And a foul. Wow. Presbyterian almost gave that one up. And that's a decent foul on Reddish Roan there. Watch this last sequence. Dangerous play. Yeah. Decent foul on Reddish Roan, and he's around 58, 60% from the free throw line. That's a In weekend. Out. That's a weekend live with that foul. Oh boy, here we go again. Just under five seconds left. Third overtime game of the day here on the opening day of the Big South Championships. And it's missed! We go, but again, that's it for Campbell. Everybody else is okay. Here we go. Four and a half seconds left. Whitfield with one second left at the buzzer. It's good! Well, now, you, you felt that, and you guys went out on the winning note. You guys were the last team standing.
Yeah, and we were we had that mentality. Even though I had some juniors on my team, and there's only two seniors on our team. We were just like, we're not going home. Yeah, we're going dancing. And you did. Oh, we did. Ten seconds of the shot clock. Hard steps back from the free throw line, rattles it in. Now keep in mind again, we were just talking about That's this, but fouls. going into the second overtime, yeah, you got Barnett, Ard, and Reddish Roan all with four fouls right now for Presbyterian. So that gives Campbell the ability to attack, try to get downhill, and make Presbyterian have to make tough decisions. Whitfield again, no, Ard with the rebound. And you can see that Campbell is kind of went away from their pass and cut motion offense where they are moving the ball and really making Presbyterian have to work. And so they got to get back to that if they want to get some kind of flow and consistency offensively. There's Offensive one. foul, there we go again. There's one. And Art is gone. And that has been a theme all day long, and the officials have been consistent with this in every single game. Here it is again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Color did a good job of moving his feet and shifting over. Making Bard have to use that shoulder and go into his chest. And I will say, though, we have seen more egregious ones than that. Absolutely. There, there wasn't a whole lot of extension on that one. Yeah. But but it's been a point of emphasis, and they've obviously been watching it. Well, you've got you to gotta adjust to the play calling as well. You understand that, hey, Agreed. they're not letting that fly. So you adapt. Yep. Just like in baseball, right, with the strike zone. Absolutely. Okay. It's on you as a player to adapt to it. This is where we are. Lemons kick out into the corner. And Henderson's three-pointer too short. Foul on Campbell. I think they got Carolero. And they did. That's going to be his fourth. So now Clemens with four and Carolero with four. Well, you know, another note here, keep in mind, Harrison not out on the court right now for Presbyterian. With 522 or 521 left, rather, in regulation, he went out with an apparent injury on his lower left leg. And he's kind of hobbled back in from time to time on the offensive end, but he's not on the floor. So you've got Ard out with five fouls. And Harrison with 18 points, four three-pointers. He's on the bench. Well, and, and here's the thing, too, with with Presbyterian, I mean, if they can come out of here with a win, you want to see what's going on with Harrison. Tipped away to Campbell. Down three. Three and a half minutes to play in our second overtime session. Clears out for Carolero against Hill and puts it in. That's a big finish from Car Carolero there. And that is Campbell just being stubborn and just making sure that they put the ball in the basket with an easy two or a tough. I mean, but right now you've seen them take some tough perimeter shots that are low percentage. Double-double for Carolero, by the way. 14 points and 13 rebounds. Barnett gives it up. Five seconds on the shot. LeGregum forced to fill that one up. Henderson with the rebound. Campbell with the chance to take the lead. Whitfield, no good. And Younger back on the court now for Presbyterian. Gets the rebound. We actually haven't talked about Younger too much tonight. Well, he hasn't been out there much, but he is one of those players. Um, you know, and I think that he's still trying to understand Coach Q's system and what he does and what he likes. And once you can do that, it puts you in a good situation. Younger had a hand on it. And they're going to say last touch by Campbell. Kevin McGeehan, the head coach for Campbell on the sideline, not thrilled with the call. It was a tough one. And even if they went to the tape, I'm not sure if they could. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Oh, that's another one. Offensive foul. Reddish Roan, pretty sure. And if it is, 
Yeah, it is. You're right, John. So Reddish Roan with number five. And, boy, the players just falling right now to the bench for Presbyterian. Yeah, got to play that numbers game at this point. And really a lot of that is due to Presbyterian having to play high-risk defense in that second half to get themselves back into the game and put a, a ton of pressure. Like, we'll take that foul, but, you know, now when you're going into a second overtime, it's starting to really take its toll on this team. By the way, last double overtime game in Big South tournament play was back in 2014. Coastal Carolina beat Charleston Southern 73 to 68 in the quarterfinals. That's actually a little surprising to me. Eight years, the second double overtime game, tournament play. The tournament eh, it hasn't been as much parity as it has been this year. It's been pretty clear cut. Well, that was the theme. I mean, you've been talking about that a lot, all the parity in the conference, so really no surprise, right? Yeah. Three overtime games on day one. Double overtime here. Whitfield's got it. Campbell down by one. Under two minutes left to play. Thompson drives, dishes, and the finish by Clemens. Somebody with a better or higher percentage. One point game now in favor of Campbell. And a foul on Carolero. That's going to be his fifth. So Carolero now the first Campbell player to be out of this game. And that's huge for the Camels. Carolero's so big for Campbell because of he's got great size. And Great vision, high IQ, really runs their offense through him because of his vision and his ability to find people. One of those point forwards on this team that when you get into a bind or a pickle, he's the guy that can get you out. Free throw is short again by Hill, and these are starting to stack up now for Presbyterian. The free throw numbers for the Blue Hose if you're a Presbyterian fan, you're not going to like this. Nine of 20. Oh, yeah. That, those, and one of the things is, is it's a free shot. Uh, my coach used to call that's a controllable shot. Nobody's altering it. That's just you. Hill makes the seconds. And this game is now tied at 68. Campbell's left some points out there as well. 18 of 27 from the free field line. Three players have fouled out, two for Presbyterian, one for Campbell. Whitfield's still out there, gives it to Stachich, who's back in. Whitfield spins. Long shot, and it's good. His feet were just on the line, they say, for a two-pointer. That's a big shot for him. Whitfield, off balance and everything. All started with a, a Barnett gamble there where he took full advantage and put a ton of pressure on that defense. Yeah, his foot's on that line. Yep, good call by the official right there to call it. See him right away saying two yeah. points. You know, the other thing they were going to look at was the clock. I saw one of the uh, officials signal clock as well. <laughs> say, yeah, of course I'm right. Of course I got that call right. Yeah, of course. It's right here. Yeah. Always good to double check, though. Yeah. At this point, yep. going this deep into a game, you don't want to leave anything to chance, and you want to make sure that you got everything right here. Postseason play, 70 seconds left. Campbell with the lead. Second overtime. Zeb Graham now into the game for Presbyterian. Gives it to LeGregum. So some guys out there who normally don't get a whole lot of playing time. And a blocking foul underneath on Henderson. Check on his fouls. That's going to be his fourth. A lot of that was due to Henderson being there early, but where his positioning was in that legal zone there. Hey, 
And look who's back at the free throw line. Winston Hill has been there the entire second half. Well, right now, it's, he, the offense has been rolling through him. They're looking for him to put the ball in the basket. 18 points on the night and make it 19 as it's a one-point game. Hill, 6 for 11 from the free throw line now. Real close to a double-double. He has 19 points, 9 rebounds. Oh, yeah, he'll get that, I think. Carroll Arrow, by the way, for Campbell. Again, just fouled out, but finishes with a double-double. Another terrific game, 14 points, 13 rebounds. And that one's good. We're tied at 70 with one minute left to play. Whitfield's going to bring it up court. There's Thompson. Thompson's been good about driving and creating. Yeah, that's what he does. Once he gets into that lane, if he draws a defender. Whitfield bounce pass to Henderson. Is that on Hill? I think it is. That's going to be his fourth if it's on Hill. Yep, it is. So number four now on Hill. So again, Ard and Reddish Roan already out for Presbyterian. Harrison is also out with an apparent injury. They tried to bring him back in a couple of times. We haven't seen him now in a while. He's still sitting over on the sideline. Yeah, he's working on a on a band there, really just trying to work on this motion. And he's definitely got something going on there where he's going to have to get some real treatment and some work if Presbyterian pulls this out. You know, they'll definitely try to make sure that he gets a, a full day's rest to really focus on that. Barnett with four fouls, Hill with four fouls, and now Campbell with a one-point lead. Coming up on 30 seconds left. And they get it in to Zeb Graham. Stewart in the corner, nowhere to go. Hill drives to the baseline, swings it in the corner. Barnett for three, no good. 15 seconds left. That one is good. Presbyterian takes a one-point lead. 13 seconds left. No timeouts. Campbell a chance to win it. Down one. Six seconds left. Whitfield spins. Two seconds left. Shot by Stotchich is good. Milo Stotchich. Gives Campbell the lead with .6 seconds left. What in the world is happening? Big three for Stasic there. Stasic just three for ten from three-point range all season. Whitfield nowhere to go, and here it is. The kid is 17% on the season and said, yeah, I told you, you told him, hold my lemonade, sir. And look at the reaction. Getting mobbed on the court. But still, there will be time left on the clock. Three for ten. All season for three-point range. And that's the second one he's hit today. Jeff, I, I, I've cut my watch off. It, it told me to calm down too many times. I just don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> By the way, Winston Hill picks up a foul on the play as well. That's going to be his fifth. So now three players out for Presbyterian. Three impact players. So a chance at yet another point here with point six left. And it is good. That's a huge shot, huge shot. 75-72. I mean, this has got to be literally in and out of your hands. Barnett throws it all the way down to the other end, tipped, and.